Hey there, my crafty creatures. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be diving into another day of cosplay and con preparation. You know that time of year when I put on my creative cape and unleash my crafting superpower. Now, you might remember my awesome Korra costume from the last few years. It's always a hit and I feel in my element in that costume. But guess what? One is simply not enough for this avatar. So today, I'm showing you how I'm creating a second pair of pants. Double the pants, double the awesomeness. This is the pattern I previously modified with glorious pockets. Because you know a true hero needs a place to stash all of those essential con items. Where else would I keep my trusty phone and essential emergency snacks? All right, it's time to dive into the nitty gritty of these Cora pants. First things first, we gotta lay these pattern pieces out and cut them. Trust me, my crafty creatures, creating a pattern is the holy grail of costume making. It's like having your own secret weapon for future cosplay endeavors. Picture this, you've slaved away on a costume masterpiece and an accident happens. Maybe it's a laundry mishap or you were having so much fun at your con that one of your pieces ended up in tatters. No worries, with a pattern, you can easily replace it and get back to your cosplaying superhero in no time. Talk about a time and stress saver. Plus, here's an insider tip, that pattern you created can be a treasure trove of possibilities. It's not just for remaking or alterations to your current costume. You can unleash your creativity and use it to bring other cosplay dreams to life. The possibilities are endless. All right, I'll start by tackling this pleat first and I'll be using a straight stitch going at about one and a half inches down and to make sure that it stays in place, I'm gonna be back stitching right here and this should be easy peasy. All right, now that I have that pleat done, I'm just gonna go over it with an iron and just make sure that it stays in place. Okay, so now that I have ironed that in place, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a stay stitch, that way it doesn't move around on me. And with that stay stitch, I am not making sure that it is back and forth because I can pull that out if need be later on. This is just to hold it in place and it doesn't need to be back stitched. Okay, so let's dive into the pocket making. So the plan is to take the front leg piece and the front pocket piece and we're gonna sew those together around this edge and using a straight stitch, that's how we're gonna sew it together. Now pay close attention because precision is key. We wanna make sure that everything lines up perfectly and not to forget that the right sides of the fabric need to be facing each other. It's like a secret handshake between the fabric layers, ensuring a flawless finish. Now that that is sewn together, we're gonna flip it so that the wrong sides are facing each other. And you can do an under stitch, or as I'm gonna do, is a top stitch close to the edge. Either way, we'll give it a clean look. Now I can sew the front and back pieces of the pocket together along the side and bottom edge. And I'll be using a straight stitch and then serging the raw edges. All right, now that I have the back of that pocket attached, I will be putting a stay stitch on both the side and the top up here, just to hold that in place so that pocket doesn't move around while I am trying to sew everything together. This just ensures that everything will be exactly where I want it to be. I am now ready to sew the front and back pieces together at the side seam. So I've lined everything up. I've cut a couple of clips there just to hold everything in place. And I'm gonna do a straight stitch all the way down the full length of this. And I'll make sure that I back stitch at the front and end. And then we're gonna go ahead and serge the edges so that it looks nicely. Now that I have both the front and back side seams sewn together, it's time to sew the two pieces together at the center front seam and center back seam. I am lining the two pieces so that the right sides are together and then I'll sew a straight stitch along that. Now that the center seams are sewn together, I'm going to bring them together to create the legs. And when I'm at the center seam, I'm going to align those so that the seams go in opposite directions. So when I'm doing that, I'm making sure that I reduce the bulk so that it's not too bulky in that area. And then when I'm sewing, I'm gonna be sewing from the center all the way down the leg. And I'm gonna start from the center and then go down the other leg. Um, I wanna make sure that I match up the notches there. 
and just could do a straight stitch. So for the waistband, I'm gonna be folding that in half and I'm gonna line up the notches and then sew a straight line up on that side. Now this is gonna be the shorter side of the waist, I mean the cuff. So I've gone ahead and placed the cuff inside the leg. I've already evenly distributed using the notches from the pattern. And now I'm just gonna sew everything together, making sure that I stretch the cuff so that it lines up nicely with the leg. And I'll sew all the way around that and then serge everything. And I'll be doing the same thing with the waistband. Um, I will show you how I sew that together before I attach it though. For the waistband, I'm going to sew the sides together, but on one side, I'm going to leave a hole and stitch so that I can feed the elastic in through later. But before I do that, I'm going to have to attach it to the top of the pants and ensure the seams line up and are evenly distributed. Okay, so now I am ready to feed the elastic through the waistband and I've just put a safety pin on the end and I'm going to feed that through the hole. And the safety pin just helps to get it through the fabric and then I'll pull just so it's more evenly distributed so that I can get all the way back around to that hole. Okay, before I sew the elastic together, I just want to make sure that it didn't get twisted up while I was feeding it through, which it looks like it didn't. And I am good to sew these ends together and then I can close up the hole. And for this opening here, I'm just going to hand sew it together. That'll be all it needs to stay close. Look at these pants, my crafty creatures. The stitching is so precise. It looks like they were sewn by the cosplay gods themselves. And let's not forget the added design elements that make these pants scream core from every angle. It's like cosplay magic in the making. All right, moment of truth, my fellow adventurers. Let's see how these pants fit and feel. The satisfaction, these pants fit like a glove. We're ready to conquer Dragon Con in style my friend. All right, that's a wrap on this epic pants making adventure, my crafty creatures. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Remember, cosplay is all about unleashing your creativity, expressing your unique self, and having a blast along the way. Mm -hmm.